Pastor Connie. Are you ready for today's discussion? Great! Let's get right to it. This week, we are going to look into the life of Matthias, the last disciple apostle who was selected by a roll of the dice. Not much has been written about Matthias, who served as a replacement for Judas Iscariot. We'll rely on the book of Acts, but we also have to research different historical texts to piece together his post-Pentecost journey. But hey, we can do that. So let's take a look at Matthias. To better understand how Matthias became a disciple apostle, we must first look at the life of the disciple whom Matthias replaced, and that is Judas Iscariot. It is believed that Judas Iscariot was the son of Simon Iscariot and his wife, Cybora. He was the only original disciple from Judea, possibly from the town of Kiriath, as the name Iscariot indicates. The Gospel of John tells us that Judas spoke honorably about giving money to the poor because he carried the disciples' money bag or sometimes a money box. Yet in reality, he was a thief who didn't care for the poor, as told in John's Gospel. John went as far to as to explain that Judas used to take what was in the money box or money bag for his own. Now the Gospels of Mark, Matthew, and Luke, as well as the book of Acts, recount the greatest betrayal in history. It has been written that Judas sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver that he received from the Sanhedrin. Now we can debate all day long about why Judas did it and his remorsefulness afterwards. But one must remember that in this single act, Judas not only betrayed his spiritual leader, Jesus, he also betrayed his fellow disciples, as well as the ministry he had served for some time. In Matthew's Gospel, we are told that Judas tried to give back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests after he heard that Jesus was to be crucified. Oh, the chief priests couldn't accept that silver because they considered it blood money. So Judas threw it on the ground in front of them and left. Yet he couldn't alleviate his guilt and committed suicide. Who was 
was Matthias and how did he become a disciple? Well, Matthias was believed to have been born around 1 AD in Judea. We don't know much about his lineage, but his calling as a disciple apostle was unique. Matthias's appointment to the disciple group wasn't made personally by Jesus, who had already ascended into heaven. It was made prior to the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. The book of Acts explains that in the days following the ascension, Peter proposed that the assembled disciples nominate two men to replace Judas. The disciples met on the Jewish Holy Day of Pentecost, which occurred 10 days after the Ascension, to choose a replacement for Judas. The nominees were Joseph, called Barsabbas, along with Matthias. Both men had been followers of Jesus since Jesus' baptism by John the Baptist to the time of his Ascension. After casting the lots or dies, the lot die fell for Matthias, who was chosen and joined the remaining 11 disciples. You can find this in Acts chapter 1, verses 21 through 26. So where did Matthias go after Pentecost? Well, unfortunately, no further information on Matthias can be found in the New Testament. But Matthias was there for the coming of the Holy Spirit. So he was probably among those who began preaching in Jerusalem. Now some believe that Matthias took the good news of Jesus to Cappadocia, which is eastern modern day Turkey, and along the coasts of the Caspian Sea, most notably the port of Issus. Let's see a map of this area so we can orient ourselves. Others, such as the second, th third century historian Nicephorus, believe that Matthias first preached in Judea and then in the region of Colise in modern day Georgia. Still others believe that Matthias preached in Ethiopia and the area of the Upper Nile and, and south of the Sahara. Such stories surrounding Matthias' ministry further add to the mystery of his death. According to Nixiphorus, Matthias was crucified in Ethiopia, yet other historians claim that Matthias was buried at a Roman fortress in Gynoa in modern Georgia. Another tradition maintains that Matthias was stoned by the local Jerusalem population, then beheaded around 80 AD. And finally, the second, third century historian Hippolytus of Rome believed that Matthias died of old age in Jerusalem. So there you go, another puzzler to think about this week as you contemplate the life and death of Matthias, the disciple apostle chosen by a roll of the dice. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Hey YouTubers, thanks for watching this entire video. If this is your first time here or if you're a returning viewer, I hope you enjoyed this discussion. Remember, this channel provides worship and discussion videos that you can watch anytime and any place. Nothing too heavy or intense, just simple worship and discussion videos tailored for you. And if you like this discussion, please give it a little hallelujah click down there on those like and subscribe buttons below. I would appreciate it. Oh, and don't forget, to tap on the notification bell so you can know when more discussion videos are posted. And always remember that your attitude is the attitude that can change your world and the world around you. So try to have a good attitude, okay? 
Thanks again for watching and go have a blessed day. And hopefully I'll see you again soon on this channel. Bye.